Hiya, I'm the RC Hunter and today I've got some pretty upsetting actually. Um, it's about this fake IMAX B6 Donny Big Drone Flyer 77. I was already done a video on this and I agree with him wholeheartedly in what he said in his video. But in my video I'll go into a bit more depth on how you can recognise a fake B6 and the original B6. All I'm saying is to you guys is that if you get sold one of these and they're passed on as genuine IMAX B6s then this is the problem. Me, Wakey Wakey RC, Donny and I've had a lot of emails from other people have been passed on fake IMAX B6s as genuine. In my case, I cannot name the company because it's going for legal advice at the minute and I cannot name the company until it's cleared up. Um, this company actually sold this to me as a genuine Sky RC IMAX B6. Now, there's a lot of issues with this, and I shall go into it before I tell you guys the, um, the spots on how to recognise a fake one and a genuine one. So as you can see by the box, it looks original, and if you wasn't sure about the B6s, you would take this as a genuine one, like I did. Up here, it should say Sky RC. This one done. And the box is black and the original one is blue. So that's the first step. As you get into it, right then, what happened to me was I got all the, the leads for it and everything, the instruction manual which is so fake, it's unbelievable. Um, it's all in black and white. The original one, it's in colour. The instructions are terrible, really bad. When it came, I read for the manual, um, and I originally had one of these some time ago, but unfortunately, in the move, I lost it. So um, when I bought this one, I knew straight away it was a fake. So I know how to operate this. Uh, turned it on and it should say Sky RC B6, IMAX B6 on it. On the back of this one, the air vents should be larger than this. These are small. It should have four little feet. This doesn't. It should have a hologram sticker. When you scratch it off, there's a personal number. You can get in touch with Sky RC, and that number uh, genifies that your charger is the real thing, not a fake. As you can see, there's nothing on that. The LCD screen up here sinks in and it should be flush. The buttons are clicky and they shouldn't be. They should be more silent than that. The screws on each side are Phillips and they shouldn't be. There should be X screws. So that's another sign that is a fake it's just a piece of crap and what happened was when i turned it on i put an actual battery in it will look it it were only a 2s and not my big x21 6s battery i turned it on left it on and it overcharged the little 2s battery and the thing got so hot i couldn't actually touch it until I turned it off and left it to cool down. 
I'm not saying to you guys, don't buy one. All I'm saying to you guys is that if you want to get a fake, because they are cheap, get a fake, but at your own risk. You guys like me and many others who thought were buying a genuine article, genuine charger, then please don't use it. Get in touch with a company who sold you the fake and say, hey, dude, this is a fake. I thought this was genuine. So like I say, in my case, mine's going through legal proceedings and I can't mention the company. But once it's all over and done with, I will mention the company and I will expose them. And for all you haters out there, and for all you guys say, hey, this is scaremongery, this is this, this is that. All I'm interested in is that people who buy or think they're buying the original charger and get a fake charger and when it all goes wrong and your house burns down don't come running to anybody else you made that decision not me not Donny not Wakey Wakey RC nobody you decided to buy a fake at your own risk all we're doing here is saying that we bought these in faith and our faith and our trust was broken and that is all I'm saying. On the other hand, Donnie's got lots of emails, a lot of comments on his videos saying, you know, well done, thank you for bringing this to, to our attention. There was one comment in red, I can't remember where we were from, but he said, I didn't realise there was a sticker on the back and it was a hologram, you had to scratch it up to be a genuine one or a fake one. And there we go, this is my point. He bought one genuinely thinking that he bought a genuine B6. He might have done. Then again, he might not have done. The fake B6 might be working fine for years. But then again, the fake B6 is a fake. It's not like going out to the local pub and buying a fake Rolex watch or whatever. This is dangerous. I'm trying to say, and all you haters can hate me if you want. I'm not bothered. I'm just trying to get the message out and say to you guys that beware, there's fakes on the market. There's been fakes on the market for years and years and years. But this new batch of fakes was just coming over the last 12 months, flooded the market, are dangerous. That's what I'm saying. You guys who bought the fakes, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, might have been a good fake and you might be still using it. What I'm saying is, what Donnie's saying is, what Wakey Wakey RC is saying is that the fakes who are coming on to market now has flooded the floodgates, opened this particular brand up and they're dangerous. So um, just be aware that there is fakes on the market make sure that you're getting a genuine one if you want to buy a genuine one if you want to buy a fake then you buy a fake it's up to you i can't stop you buying a fake yeah. thanks for listening go out do your bit happy new year to all you guys happy flying please stay safe and i'll catch you all later ciao for now